NFL free agency. Some teams reloaded their rosters. And then I think the team that had the best offseason is the Houston Texans. Mm. And it's not just a singular move, but all of their moves. Today, here are the grades for all 32 NFL teams' free agency so far. Arizona Cardinals, C+. The Cardinals ended 2023 disappointingly. Kyler Murray rallied, but lack offensive line protection. The team parted ways with Hollywood Brown, but they did sign Chris Moore. They added Jonah Williams, Evan Brown, signed Kyrus Tonga, Sean Murphy Bunting, a great addition, and Mac Wilson Sr. They still need a wide receiver, but thankfully, the draft isn't that far away. Atlanta Falcons? A-. For 2024, the Falcons needed a new quarterback. Kirk Cousins signed a four-year, $180 million deal, replacing Desmond Ritter, who is traded to the Cardinals. Hopefully, Cousins has recovered his Achilles injury. They signed wide receivers Darnell Mooney, Ray Ray McLeod, and Codero Hodge as new offensive talent to the roster. Atlanta also signed defensive end Cantavius Street, so the Falcons look ready to take on their NFC South competition in 2024. Baltimore Ravens? B. The Ravens lost Geno Stone and Patrick Queen, who signed with the Cincinnati Bengals and Pittsburgh Steelers, respectively. They landed Derrick Henry, a massive upgrade at running back. They also added Chris Board and Josh Jones. They re-signed Malik Harrison, Justin Matabike, Brent Urban, Arthur Mollett, Nelson Aguilar, and Josh Johnson. Nonetheless, however, competition in the AFC North is fierce, as their rivals also gained new firepower. Buffalo Bills, B-. The Bills parted ways with Tredavious White, Leonard Floyd, Micah Hyde, Jordan Poyer, and Gabe Davis. They signed former Washington Commanders W.R. Curtis Samuel, thus strengthening the receiving core. To offset losses on defense, they signed two-time Super Bowl champion Mike Edwards, Casey Tuhill, and Nicholas Morrow, providing developmental opportunity and improving receiver depth with Samuel and former Falcon Mac Hollins. Carolina Panthers D. Looking to rebound after 2023, the Panthers traded Brian Burns to the New York Giants for second and fifth round draft picks. They also released Bradley Bozeman, who signed with the LA Chargers, Eder Grossmanos, who signed with the San Francisco 49ers, and Frankie Louvre, who signed with the Washington Commanders. Bryce Young needs help at offensive line and new receiver depth. They added Deontay Johnson, Robert Hunt, Damian Lewis, and Josh Nyman. Will this help? Eh, we're gonna have to wait and see. Chicago Bears, B-. Chicago upgraded at running back with the addition of DeAndre Swift, added Keenan Allen via trade, and signed Gerald Everett. Justin Fields has traded to the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Swift and Allen now acquired, they are gonna need a new quarterback. The Bears also added defensive talent in Kevin Byard and Jonathan Owens. So hey, get ready to rock in the Windy City, folks. Cincinnati Bengals, B. The Bengals placed a franchise tag on wide receiver T. Higgins, re-signed Drew Sample, signed Mike Kosicki, and Zach Moss. Joe Mixon was traded to the Houston Texans for a seventh round pick. They added Sheldon Rankins, Geno Stone, and Von Bell as well. These additions will help the Bengals rebound from a last place finish despite having a winning record. Cleveland Browns, B-. The Browns took a hit losing Anthony Walker Jr. and Mike Ford, but re-signed Zedaria Smith and Maurice Hurst Jr. They also added Devin Bush and Jordan Hicks. They then traded for Jerry Judy from the Denver Broncos in exchange for two draft picks and then signed Naheem Hines. However, they released Joe Flacco. He signed a one-year deal with the Indianapolis Colts. The Browns added Jameis Winston and Tyler Huntley as backups for Deshaun Watson, but still losing Flacco hurts. Dallas Cowboys, D. The Cowboys have had a quiet offseason, managing to sign Eric Kendricks to a one-year $3 million deal. They lost Tony Pollard to the Tennessee Titans, also released Michael Gallup, and Tyron Smith signed with the New York Jets. Oh, and they also released Stephon Gilmore. They still have a strong roster with 10 pro bowlers from last season, who are all going to be back. But playing in such a competitive NFC East, they're going to need to at least draft a new running back and some offensive lineman. Denver Broncos, D. The Broncos are resetting after releasing Russell Wilson. They released Justin Simmons and Chris Manhurts. The Broncos also traded Jerry Judy to the Cleveland Browns, but they re-signed PJ Locke, Justin Stranod, and little Jordan Humphrey. They signed Cody Barton, Brandon Jones, Matt Pert, and Malcolm Roach. With two quarterbacks on the roster, Jared Siddham and Ben DiNucci, they're probably gonna have to draft a real quarterback and probably continue rebuilding. Detroit Lions, B+. The Lions made strong offseason moves, adding Pro Bowler Kevin Zeitler, DE Marcus Davenport, and former Super Bowl champion Carlton Davis via trade. They lost CJ Gardner-Johnson to the Philadelphia Eagles, Pro Bowl guard Jonah Jackson to the LA Rams, and Chase Lucas to the San Francisco 49ers. The Lions look to possibly return to the NFC Championship and onto Super Bowl 59 now that they're in win-now mode. Green Bay Packers, B. 
The Packers lost Josh Nyman to the Carolina Panthers, Jonathan Owens to the Chicago Bears, and Aaron Jones to the Minnesota Vikings. However, they signed Josh Jacobs to a four-year, $48 million deal, and they landed Xavier McKinney. With Jacobs, losing Aaron Jones to free agency isn't going to sting as much, as he gives Jordan Love a little more talent to work with. Houston Texans, B+. The Texans added veteran presence to both sides of the ball, as they traded for Joe Mixon and also signed to Neil Hunter, replacing Jonathan Grenard, who signed with the Minnesota Vikings. The Texans also signed two-time Super Bowl champion punter Tom Townsend. After a successful 2023 season, the Texans made great additions on defense like Aziz Alshair, Jeff Okuda, and Danico Autry, ensuring fierce competition in the AFC South. Indianapolis Colts, C. The Colts entered 2024 with Anthony Richardson back from shoulder surgery and Michael Pittman Jr. returning. They lost Gardner Minshew to the Las Vegas Raiders, but signed Joe Flacco to a one-year deal. They're gonna need to address the secondary. And you know, Julian Blackman is a free agent who had a very strong 2023 season. So just saying, maybe bring Blackman back or just draft a new cornerback entirely. Jacksonville Jaguars, C+. After losing Calvin Ridley to the Tennessee Titans via free agency, the Jaguars signed Gabe Davis from the Buffalo Bills. Davis is very serviceable for the Jaguars' receiver depth. They signed former Bills center Mitch Morse and traded a sixth-round pick to the New England Patriots for Mac Jones to back up Trevor Lawrence. With the right talent, they can definitely return to the playoffs and possibly even make a deep run. Kansas City Chiefs, a minus. Oh, the rich just keep getting richer. A possible three-peat Super Bowl run is looking all the more real. The Chiefs re-signed DE Chris Jones, assigned former Cardinals wide receiver Hollywood Brown, and tight end Irvin Smith Jr., thus helping Patrick Mahomes find reliable throwing targets. They lost Willie Gay to the Washington Commanders, Mike Edwards to the Buffalo Bills, Jody Fortson to the Miami Dolphins, and Legereus Sneed, who helped defeat the Baltimore Ravens to reach Super Bowl 58, by the way, to the Tennessee Titans via trade. The Chiefs re-signed Drew Tranquil to a three-year 19 million dollar deal, thus keeping that defense sharp. They are the cream of the crop when it comes to NFL supremacy, and free agency has not changed that one bit. Las Vegas Raiders, B. The Raiders signed DT Christian Wilkins, who will help Max Crosby make that defensive line a force to be reckoned with. They lost Josh Jacobs to the Green Bay Packers, but re-signed veteran RB Amir Abdullah and center Andre James. They signed Harrison Bryant, Ben Brown, and QB's Anthony Brown and Gardner Minshew, which, hey, is pretty dang huge. If they opt to draft a quarterback, well, Minshew's gonna add a bit of veteran mentorship. So all things considered, it's looking pretty good in the desert. Los Angeles Chargers, C-. The Chargers, under Jim Harbaugh, made changes for 2024. They signed Gus Edwards, Will Disley, and Hayden Hurst. Losing Mike Williams really hurts. Quinton Johnston is gonna need to step up despite his rookie struggles. Oh, and they're gonna need a wide receiver, whether that comes through free agency or the draft. Los Angeles Rams, B-. The Rams entered 2024 without Aaron Donald, who announced retirement. So now what? The younger defensive linemen, I guess, just need to step up. The Rams brought back Derek Darius Williams, who spent two seasons with Jacksonville, and signed safety Cameron Curl from the Washington Commanders. They signed veteran QB Jimmy Garoppolo to back up Matthew Stafford. They also added Jonah Jackson to an offensive line and signed Colby Parkinson from the Seattle Seahawks. They're gonna need an edge rusher, secondary help, and a bit more young talent from the draft. Miami Dolphins, C. The Dolphins said goodbye to Xavier Howard, Christian Wilkins, Robert Hunt, Jerome Baker, and Emmanuel Ogba. The Dolphins then went on to sign Jonu Smith, Jody Fordson, Kendall Fuller, Jordan Poyer, Shaquille Barrett, and Jordan Brooks. These additions should improve to attack of Iowa's performance, giving them a pretty good chance for a home playoff game. Minnesota Vikings, D+. The Vikings released Kirk Cousins as he signed a massive four-year, $180 million deal with the Atlanta Falcons. They parted ways with Daniil Hunter, Cam Akers, and Anthony Barr. They also signed Sam Darnold, Aaron Jones, Jonathan Grenard, and Blake Cashman. Darnold may look like a massive downgrade from Cousins, but you know, he can still play. And hopefully, he can be a bit of a mentor to whatever rookie quarterback the Vikings bring on. New England Patriots, B. With Bill Belichick gone, head coach Jared Mayo shipped Mac Jones to the Jacksonville Jaguars for a sixth-round draft pick. The Pats released Devontae Parker, Chris Board, J.C. Jackson, Adrian Phillips, Ezekiel Elliott, Trent Brown, and Lauren Skye. They signed Antonio Gibson, Chuck Wumo Okorafor, Nick Leverett, Jacoby Brissett, and then re-signed Jalen Rager. Kendrick Bourne signed a massive contract extension. They're still going to need quite a few upgrades across their entire roster if they want to remain relevant. But hey, bringing Brissett back in a mentorship role does help any new rookie quarterback. New Orleans Saints, C. The Saints have been quiet, but they signed Chade Young to a one-year deal, signed Cedric Wilson, Xander Horvath, Willie Gay, and then signed Nathan Peterman to serve as backup to Derek Carr. They released Jameis Winston and Michael Thomas, but re-signed Jonathan Abram on defense. They still need a safety and an off-ball linebacker. So hopefully they can pick those up in the draft. 
New York Giants C+. Losing Saquon Barkley and safety Xavier McKinney stings. Trading for Brian Burns with a five-year $141 million extension, though, was huge. Signing offensive linemen Jermaine Illuminor, John Runyon Jr., Aaron Stinney, and Austin Schlotman could fix the offensive line. They added Devin Singletary, Chris Manhurts, Asai McKenzie, and Jalen Mills. Daniel Jones is coming back, but they still need a new quarterback and probably some more offensive line talent. New York Jets, A-. minus. GM Joe Douglas's mission? Fix the Jets' offensive line for Aaron Rodgers. Well, Douglas brought in Ravens' Morgan Moses via trade, assigned John Simpson, and all-pro tackle Tyron Smith. The Jets also signed Mike Williams, giving Rodgers another wideout, with Garrett Wilson already in the lineup. They signed backup QB Tyrod Taylor from the New York Giants, and rumors are swirling around the San Francisco 49ers and LA Rams being interested in a trade for Zach Wilson. But no matter what, the focus is protecting Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers. Philadelphia Eagles? A-. minus. The Eagles lost Fletcher Cox and Jason Kelsey to retirement, but signed Matt Hennessy and PJ Mustafer. Their biggest prize, however, was signing former New York Giants RB Saquon Barkley after DeAndre Swift signed a three-year, $24 million deal with the Chicago Bears. Barkley will thrive in a productive Eagles backfield. They also signed Bryce Huff from the New York Jets, traded for Kenny Pickett from the Pittsburgh Steelers, and brought back CJ Gardner-Johnson. Barkley adds much more heat to the Giants' rivalry, but I think the Eagles are still heavily favored to win win the NFC East. Pittsburgh Steelers, B-. The Steelers released Mason Rudolph and Mitch Trubisky. They signed Russell Wilson for a steal and traded for Justin Fields while trading Kenny Pickett to the Philadelphia Eagles. Wilson and Fields are a big improvement compared to the latter. They bolstered the defense, signing former Raven Patrick Queen to a three-year $41 million deal, traded Deontay Johnson to the Carolina Panthers for Dante Jackson. Hopefully, with all these changes, they're gonna stay competitive with their AFC North rivals. San Francisco 49ers B. They added Leonard Floyd, who had 9.5 sacks last season in Buffalo, Chase Lucas, Isaac Yadam, who had 14 pass deflections, an interception, and a fumble recovery with the New Orleans Saints, and signed backup QB Joshua Dobbs. They lost Chase Young, Isaiah Oliver, Eric Armstead, and Ray Ray McLeod. Yet despite all that, they're still looking aggressively tough, aiming for a potential return to the Super Bowl this coming season. Seattle Seahawks, B-. The Seahawks released defensive veterans Jamal Adams, Quandre Diggs, and Bobby Wagner. They added fresh talent Tyrell Dodson, Jerome Baker, and Kayvon Wallace. The Seahawks then traded for QB Sam Howell from the Washington Commanders to serve as a backup to Geno Smith. After that, they re-signed Leonard Williams and Noah Fant. Hopefully, they can bounce back after a playoffless 9-8 season. Tampa Bay Buccaneers A-. The Bucs re-signed Baker Mayfield to a three-year $100 million contract after he helped win the NFC South and a playoff game against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Bucs also re-signed Mike Evans to a two-year $41 million contract, re-signed Levante David to a one-year $10 million deal, and brought back Antoine Winfield Jr. He's on the franchise tag. Oh, and they re-signed Jordan Whitehead. The Bucs did lose Shaquille Barrett and Carlton Davis, but uh, they are more than ready to defend the NFC South. Tennessee Titans C+. Mike Vrabel was fired, Derrick Henry was released, and Ryan Tannehill was also released. Tennessee brought in Tony Pollard from the Dallas Cowboys and signed Calvin Redley to a four-year $92 million deal, giving Will Levis another talented wide receiver. On defense, Tennessee added Chidobe Awuzie, Kenneth Murray, and the Kansas City Chiefs traded Legereus Sneed to the Titans for a 2025 third-round pick. Will that be enough for a Titans rebound after a disastrous 2023? Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Washington Commanders, B-. The Commanders look ahead with new head coach Dan Quinn, and of course, a new reloaded roster. Washington signed Bobby Wagner, Noah Igbenogany, Austin Eckler, Dante Fowler, Dorrance Armstrong, Zach Ertz, and veteran QB Marcus Mariota. Great veteran additions, but hey, they really need to draft a quarterback, some more offensive linemen, and a young tight end. But how do you feel about your favorite team's free agency moves? Let us know in the comment section below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. And hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.